Hello everyone, hope you are well. Today let's talk about certain hacks and lifestyle changes which help to change my life. And I can guarantee you, if you watch this video till the end, it might be able to change your life as well. And I can guarantee you 100% I'm not going to waste your time. Your health, your energy, your mood, everything can be changed. You live healthier, you live more, you enjoy your life every single moment. But it starts with one single thing, your belief and your mindset. If you believe your job will pay you at the end of the month, you will work hard. And if you don't believe your job is not going to pay you at the end of the month, you will quit the job immediately. Please keep watching till the end and it will all work it. I'm not here to give you fairy tale, healthy tips like just eat this pill, this is a magic pill, everything will be fine. What I'm about to tell you is backed by real science and if you stay with me until the end, you will leave with tools that can transform your health for the rest of your life. You are in charge of your life. The choices you make today will decide your future. The good ones may be harder one now, but they pay you back for the rest of your life. You will have better health, a better energy level and years ahead. Bad choices feel good for now, like quick sugar rush is always nice to have on the time being, but you will pay the price for that and your body will pay the price later on. So pick up your battle, so make the right and wise choices, make choices your future self will thank you for. And before we dive in, I've checked on the analytics, 50% of the people watching right now aren't subscribing. That little red button, it means more than you think to me. Please click it so I can keep creating such content, more powerful content to stay connected with you. I really want to help you and to change your life. Please subscribe to my channel and let's get on with the video. So first of all, we'll start with what is an insulin spike. Insulin is a hormone made by our pancreas. Its job is simply to move the sugar from your blood into your cells, mainly the liver cells, fat cells, and the muscle cells for energy storage, which we can use later on. Here is why this matters. More insulin means more hunger, more craving, more mood swing, more weight gain, and harder weight loss. We all have the same number of fat cells, which are about which are about 40 billion in every body, human body has the same amount of fat cells. People who are overweight don't have more fat cells. It's just the fat cells are bigger. So that's the main point you need to pick. If we don't gain extra fat cell, it's just the existing fat cell gets bigger. That's how we gain more weight. I was going through a clinical trial. They performed a very fascinating experiment. They took fat cells in a petri dishes. They used two petri dishes and they injected the same amount of food in both petri dishes. But the only difference was in one of the petri dishes, they injected a little bit of insulin. After a few days, the petri dish with the insulin in it, fat cells start getting bigger. They gain their size while the others stayed exactly the same. So the point and the conclusion is insulin doesn't just store fat, it grows the fat cell bigger. So when the cells get bigger, we gain more weight. So what is insulin resistance? When your body keep getting hit with insulin spikes, day after day, we keep on snacking, we keep on producing more and more insulin, your cells start getting bigger and they start ignoring the signal this is called insulin resistance. Although there is enough insulin but it is not doing its job so this is called insulin resistance. Your pancreas tries harder, pumps more and more insulin and this constant high insulin damages your body in ways you don't feel straight away. These high level of insulin spikes or all the time injection of insulin, it harms your blood vessel leading to heart disease, it damages your kidney, it also affects the vision and it affects every single major system in the body. It also speed up something called glycation, which is like cooking your food from inside. Imagine putting a steak inside the oven, the way it changes its color going through the cooking process, the same happens to your organ, which is called glycation. So insulin spike, they speed up this glycation process. We feel older and quickly. In our body, sugar sticks to protein and damages them, accelerate aging, wrinkling, and organ damages. That is all associated with extra insulin spike or insulin resistance. The next danger associated with the insulin spike is energy and inflammation. And then there are your mitochondria. Mitochondria are like the little energy pockets which transport energy from one place to the other. Too much of glucose spikes, they overwhelm mitochondria and damages them. The result, you feel tired, you feel more foggy, you feel unfocused all the time. So mitochondrial health is directly related to the control of the insulin spikes. Inflammation also rises and that can even show on your skin, acne skin, tags, dark patches, premature aging, all can link to insulin spike. So here are the four proven hacks which I apply every single day. Hack number one, I use apple cider vinegar and lemon juice, cap full of both, and I add it in the water and drink it about 15 minutes before eating meal. The both have acetic acid in it. It blocks the enzyme which is called beta amylase, which is responsible for the breakdown of carbohydrates. 
in the absence of this enzyme, the carbohydrates are not broken down that quickly and our body doesn't have to produce insulin that quickly and we do not get that much of a high glucose spike. It does help to decrease insulin spike and it also helps to decrease insulin resistance. Hack number two, eat vegetables first. Veggies go first. Try to eat them about 15 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes before eating the food. They make a mesh around the food and won't let the carbohydrates or the sugars to broken down too quickly to get into the bloodstream and it helps to decrease the glucose spike, hence it leads to decreased insulin production. Hack number three, make sure you walk 15 minutes, at least 10 to 15 minutes after every meal. Your muscle soaks up energy like sponges. Reduce insulin spike straight away. And you're, you are basically, whatever quick glucose is produced, your body is using it when you're walking and it won't produce too much of stress on the pancreas to inject so much insulin. Hack number four, manage stress and sleep. Poor sleep and high stress raises the stress hormone called cortisol which keeps insulin very high, sleep better, stress less and pancreas will be healthier for a longer period of time. And in the closing sentences, your body is the one place you have to live forever. Protect your body, take care of your body, it will take care of your interests, your future endeavors. Invest in it and it will protect you for decades. Control insulin spike isn't about perfection, it's about consistency, it's about continuity. These four hacks are simple, free and proven. I've tested them on myself, I've read lots of articles and journals to get to this conclusion, that's why I'm giving you this information. If you believe in them and stick with them, your energy will go up, craving will go down and your future self will be grateful. No PCOS, no fatty liver disease, no mood swing, your waist will go down, your weight will come into control. Good choices aren't always easy, but they are always worth it. Believe in yourself, take action today, let's win this battle for our health together. And if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, you can keep walking the journey side by side with me. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions which you're not sure about, please leave in the comments. I will try my best to help you out. Together, we can have a better and healthier life. Thank you very much for watching.